In this video, I used three pieces of reference material. Right here, I'm painting a value study. I was thinking it's good to put it all together in a value study so I can see what I'm going to be painting later on. The painting is going to be of a white rose. This one is red, but I'm going to make it white. And it's inspired by Billy Gale, who is my surfing buddy, and he's also a songwriter and musician. Even though the painting is of a rose, the focal point is going to be on the lips. They're going to be bright red, and my lightest lights and my darkest darks are going to be there. In this value study, I'm only going to use line work around the rose is just to let me know where the lines are and in the painting I'll use value changes. My reference material is all ready. Now I got to arrange my table, take one last sip of coffee, and start painting. I'll look at my reference a little bit here and there, but I like to let the painting dictate to me what I do next. I feel that the pencil lines are too heavy around the white rose, so I'm going to lighten them up so I can just barely see them. The rest of them will be fine. I'm starting out with the cerulean blue and the burnt umber for the background around the rose. Later I'm going to add some raw sienna for some of the flesh tones up around the face. The raw sienna and the alizarin crimson will make a pretty good flesh tone. Here I'm adding in a little bit of sap green mixed with burnt sienna. I lost a little of my pencil work so I'm going to draw it in so I have a line to follow. This whole painting in real time took approximately 45 minutes and that does include the embellishment that I used in the background at the end. I'm going to start the lips with an opera. It's a pink. And then I'm going to come back in with a cadmium scarlet. Run that down into the corners a little bit. And then a alizarin crimson goes over the top. I'm going to leave the white highlight as best I can. The light source is coming from the right. Now in the really dark corners down there, I'm going to use an ultramarine blue mixed with an alizarin crimson. That'll give a real dark red color. Now to give the white rose some depth, I'm using some cerulean blue to give it kind of a shadow effect around the edges to make it appear to wrap back around the back side.
Now I'm going to add in my darkest darks. In this case, it's an indigo blue, and I'm putting it right next to the lightest lights, which are the teeth. The contrast is going to really draw the eye into the focal point. Most of the things that draw the viewer's eye are going to be right in here. It's the darkest darks, the lightest lights, the bright red, hard edges, the human figure. The only thing missing is the written word, which also draws a lot of attention. The name of Billy's song is Wild White Rose. Right now I think this looks a little bit sedate, so I'm going to put a wild background with more color to draw the attention off the lips and put it a little more on the rose. Now I'm going to sign it. You know I'm going to come back and add in some more background. The lips are so powerful that it needs more background color. Stay at home and watch her grow. 